Hi there. So this week I want to talk a little bit about carbohydrates because my goodness, carbohydrates have gotten a bad reputation um, in so many different ways. And so I hear a lot of different things from athletes from sugar is bad or bread is not good for me. Um, I don't like to have pasta because it feels too heavy. And so there's just a lot of different um, conversations that I have with athletes in terms of carbohydrates. And the reality is that carbohydrates are critical and ideally should be the primary foundation of your diet as an athlete. Carbohydrates are actually the primary source of fuel for our muscles and for our brain. So if you're ever feeling a little bit of brain fog, if you're feeling kind of um, energy lulls throughout the day um, in terms of mental clarity, if you're an athlete that's getting like shaky or um, kind of the sweats, that's a pretty good sign that you're experiencing hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. Um, and we're needing more carbohydrates within the diet. So I'm here to preach carbohydrates and how important they are for you um, and discuss a little bit deeper. So if you have any questions after listening to this, don't hesitate to reach out. So in terms of carbohydrates, we actually, because they're so important in terms of energy source, we actually store carbohydrates in our muscles and in our liver in a form called glycogen. And that is an easy accessible form when we are fasting overnight for our body to get energy, as well as when we start exercising, we start using that stored glycogen. Um, and really when we hit about that 60 to 90 minute mark, depending on the intensity of which we're training, we're starting to deplete those glycogen stores. And it's really important that we start adding in carbohydrate or we might see an impact in terms of our performance. Maybe it feeling a little bit of, a lot of times we call it bonking. It's like all of a sudden we're just not feeling like we have the energy. We might be experiencing muscle cramps. Things like that is a good indicator that maybe it's a fueling piece. We're not getting enough in terms of carbohydrates. So there's two types of carbohydrates. There are sugars and starches. Both are actually broken down in our body into a simple sugar or a simple carbohydrate called glucose. So it doesn't matter which type, they're both broken down in the same way. And both are super helpful in terms of fueling as an athlete. So thinking about types of carbohydrates, I rated um, my kitchen. So fruit is an awesome source of carbohydrate, apples, oranges, bananas, great source of carbohydrate, even things like applesauce. Here's a sweet potato. Our vegetables are good sources of carbohydrates, specifically sweet potatoes and more of our starchy veggies like um, winter squash, delicata or butternut squash, um, corn, peas. Those are going to be our more starchy vegetables and they're going to give more in terms of carbohydrates rather than like leafy greens, broccoli, things like that. Um, beans and legumes. So I have a can of garbanzo beans here. Um, great sources of carbohydrate. Also really good sources of fiber, which we'll talk about in a second. Our whole grains or grains, so quinoa, this is quinoa brown rice packet. I love these for like a really easy, convenient meal um, at night. If I'm making stir fry or something like that, this can be a great thing to pair with it for some carbohydrates. Also thinking about things like oats would fall under that grain category, our bread, our pasta, um, tortillas, things like that, pita bread, that's gonna all fall into the grain category. And then the other one that we have, which is going to fall more into like the refined sugar piece is going to be our, um, like things like our chews and our gels, which you might be adding in with your training or competition, um, things like honey or refined just table sugar. Um, also Gatorade or sports drinks. Those are going to be more of those simple refined carbohydrates. And in general, we want to aim for more quality carbs, the ones that are going to contain fiber, um, more of our whole grains. Those are going to actually help with slowing down that digestion and absorption of those carbohydrates. It allows us to feel more satiated and satisfied. These sources are also going to give like a lot of other um, micronutrients. So when we think macro, we think big nutrients, protein, carbs, and fat. Micronutrients are going to be our vitamins and our minerals. So we're, when we're incorporating some of these more quality sources of carbohydrate, we're going to be getting a lot of those other nutrients as well along with that.
Carbohydrates, potassium, really important in terms of uh, muscle cramping, hydration, those types of things. So those are our different, oh, and I didn't, shoot, I didn't grab my uh, yogurt. I was going to bring my yogurt in here. Um, but dairy products are also going to be providing carbohydrates. So that, that's where carbohydrates are coming from. Um, thinking about that quality piece. So depending on the timing of our fueling, we might be wanting to incorporate some of these more simple carbohydrates because these are going to be quick sources absorbed really quickly and they're not going to cause as much gut upset as something like a potato potentially or um, something that's going to contain a lot more fiber. This is going to be take longer for our gut to digest. So if we're getting close to training, close to competition, simple carbohydrates are going to be best and easiest for your body to digest and quick sources of energy. So that's where those um, come into play. So really, like those are sources of carbohydrates, why it's so super important. So don't be afraid of carbs. They actually are really super critical. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about how we adjust our carbohydrate intake based on our training load, based on if we're in season, out of season, things like that in other videos. But I wanted to just give a baseline information around carbohydrates, why they're so, so, so super important. So please don't be afraid of bread. Please don't be afraid of pasta, especially for like a pregame meal, pre-race meal. It's super fantastic to add that in. You're going to feel more energized incorporating more carbohydrates on that plate when you're hitting competition time and you have maxed out those glycogen stores and you're ready to compete. So that's what I got for this week. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reply and reach out. I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Until next week.